Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Over here in uh, Center Street, where they have kind of paved quite a bit of area down. Or, I guess you call it grading or is it just shredding? Not sure what you call it, but there was a proper term for this. Somebody told me what it was a while ago. I guess they call it ripping down. Probably. Ripping down the uh, asphalt. But they get all the way down there. Take a quick walk down and see how far they went this way. Stop by 2201 Wash. I've notified the state as well, but they got a woman inside the store threatening to shoot people. No hey, what, what is the proper term? Is that called ripping down? Or? <laughs> milling. Milling. There you go. I knew it was something like that. The milling. We got it. Couldn't get it out. Milling. So they, they milled it down. I don't know. I, got, I get so much stuff to remember. It's hard to remember everything. So they milled down a good area. Just think of a mill. Mill is like a different different uh, thickness. So he milled it down to a certain thickness. It would eventually came to me sooner or later. I take a quick walk down to the other. I think it goes far as um, it's that Boylston Street over there. Take a quick walk down and check out the mill job they did. We're still waiting for them to do Blue Hill Ave. Um, I don't know if the city's going to get to it this year or not. We'll, we'll see. This street honestly wasn't too, too bad, you know. It definitely could use some work, but it wasn't as bad as Blue Hill and um, some parts of Warren. It's definitely not as bad as on Dixon Street over there and um, by Eggleston. Eggleston, can I please? Somebody was telling me uh, a couple of days ago the city of Boston doesn't need any um, speed bumps. They have their own self-made speed bumps when it comes to the potholes. Thank you. Kind of have to believe what they're saying because so many streets are just as bad enough they should be called uh, speed bumps. Let's a quick walk down and watch them doing the fishing touches over here. Again, about that loose, loose, uh, loose debris. This is on um, Boylston Street. So we'll take a quick walk down and see what they got going on down there. We're basically getting all the uh, fine dust up. That's the uh, water truck. One of, one of the water trucks, anyway. You have a uh, two person unit available for a quick coding um, at 3 30. Do you have someone available? 
That's a, that's a tough turn to make with that machine. Oh, I'm on a sidewalk. <laughs> that's all, keep going. He's trying to make that wide turn, which is really tough. Like, he told me I couldn't stand here, but it, they didn't block the sidewalk off. So, who fault is that? Gonna mill this all down. Take a quick walk on the other side. And, you know, trying to make that turn with that truck in that pole in the way is not it's not quite as easy as you think because those are um, they still work off the skid steer principle and it's kind of tough. I'm going to show you a little milling.
not that bad you know they don't look terribly damaged at all down here if you look these these roads hey, what's up? how you doing man these roads don't look that what happened what did you say oh, he got a problem over here I don't know what's his problem you got a problem man he got he got some kind of problem what's, what's your problem what'd you say so, so, so you come up talking trash, man. Get out of here, then. Well, don't don't start talking trash, then. That's all you got to do. Keep it moving. Start talking trash. I'm going to think you want a problem. You got a problem? Do you, well, keep it going, then. Don't 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 stop, then. Why, why are you stopping? Why, why are you stopping? Because you, you said something to me. Well, keep, keep it going, then. I don't know what that is. What is it? What's, what's, what's the femination? Well, keep walking then. If you start talking to me, I'm going to talk to you. I don't know what the problem is. Let me go back to my story. What's, what's the femination? What is that? What is that called? I don't even know what that's called. So back to what I was saying. This, this road is not that bad if you look at it. And there's a lot, a lot more... Like worst off... A lot more worst off roads in the city than this. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> he said he's mad at me. I don't know what he's mad at. All you do is keep, if you keep your mouth shut, I won't even say that to you. But sometimes I'm going to have to start ignoring those kind of people, though. I got to start ignoring those. Don't, don't let those people bother you. How do you say sticks and bricks may break my bones, but names never hurt me? So back, back to this road here. This, this road is not that bad. You know, uh, Blue Hill Ave is a lot worse than this. So, um, I, I just want to see how they're going to handle um, Blue Hill Ave. Because uh, I want to, I want, hopefully I'll be there when, they, when they're doing it. But uh, let me take a walk down there so you can get an idea of what they're doing down here. So they're going to probably do this whole entire road down to those cones down the other side over there. If you can see it. I see. I can look at that word. What does defamil defamilation? I, I think that's what he said. I can look at that word. I can find out what it means. Here you got a few, you got a few bad potholes. I'm not too sure if they're going up here or not, but it looks like they may be stopping like right there at the intersection. This looks like they already did a patch job on this side. So, assuming after they did with their patchwork over here, that's probably the scope of that as it is. They 
patched it and sealed it. So that's, you know, I guess that's acceptable, you know. Take a quick walk down here and see how these look over here. You know, take a quick walk back up there while they're, where they're milling at. Get a car coming through the cones. I'm not too sure if they're supposed to be going through the cones like that, but nevertheless, they, they did go through the cones. Then they, they might get mad when they can't go all the way down because they shouldn't be going down in the first place. I don't know. You didn't see those cones, but now you see the trucks. That street's a one-way street, so you shouldn't be going up a one-way street. So what do you think those cones were there for? I thought those cones were just for decoration? I don't know. She's trying to figure out, should she, should she turn around or go up a one-way street? Don't hit the pole in the process, but... She's having a tough time doing a three-point turn. Now, every driver in the state of Massachusetts should know how to do a three-point turn. Three-point turns are very, that's like a four-point turn, what she did. But three-point turns are not hard to do. It's all about angling your vehicle and your tires in the proper way. Turn them the proper way when you're backing up. But uh, I don't know. Another one. You don't see those cones there? You can't make this stuff up. You really can't. You, you, you really can't make this stuff up, guys. Wow. Talk about Boston does have some bad drivers, and I, I see where they get the case study from. Um, if you sit on the street long enough and watch drivers drive, you can see how bad these drivers are. They're, they're horrible when it comes to directions and following signs and stuff like that. It's horrible. Now, assuming that's a one-way street. She came out of this one-way street. I'm assuming this is a one-way street. Actually, it's not a one-way street. It's a narrow two-way street. Sorry about that. So she says she came out of that narrow two-way street, came over to here, and went up that way. But I think on this side, it does say do detour, doesn't it? Yeah, it says detour. So it's telling, it's telling you detour. A lot of people can't read, though. <laughs> Street. I guess they could go up that way. I don't know. I, I I didn't put those. Want to go out that way? So, so I, I assume gonna... if they wanted to go that way, they could go up there till they get down here. But I don't, I don't I don't make that decision though. No, no, I know you don't. I was just. I was just but they, they could go up that way. You're right. They could make that left and keep going up. All the way up. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, I agree with you. Uh, I'm not I'm not arguing with you at all. Oh, no, so, no, I understand. Yeah. I understand. That young lady had a question for you. I'll let you get back to work. Come all right, man. <laughs> Take care. I don't know what the question is. I don't know if I can answer that question either. I, I can answer it if I wanted to, but. How do you get on the Jamaica way? It keeps bringing Yeah, I know. <laughs> Were you, was you on Center Street when you came up here? Yeah, I want to get on the Jamaica way. Well, if you get back to Center Street, oh yeah, you're right, because they got that blocked off, you're right. Try to go up, did you go up this way here? No. Go up that way and come out the other side, because you're, right. you're, you're bypassing. Right. Take that first left and go around that way. I see what he's talking about. Yeah, he's right. If you want Center Street, they got that whole center street blocked off and you can't get up that way. Ah, so somebody did, did keep putting a calculation into that, to how to do that. And he's correct. If they go up uh, Burr Street there, which they're doing right now, they can bypass all that craziness that, that, that they cre created. Uh, uh, how long are you gonna be there? They're gonna, they're gonna move that, they're gonna come all the way down here as far as they can go. So I don't know how, uh, like. like, like a.m. Right, it's, it's not 4 p.m. yet though. So after 4 p.m. you could park there. 
For, for, I would follow the signs. If it said after 4 p.m., I would wait till after 4 p.m. Because they, they're not quite done yet. <laughs> I, I wouldn't tell you. I wouldn't recommend. I would follow the signs. Because at 4 p.m., these guys are heading out of here. So they're not going to be doing any work after 4 p.m. So that's, I, I understand what the, that guy is saying. He's correct. If they go up this street right here, they could bypass that, all that traffic on Center Street up there. We go back up to the, uh, like these roads here, like I was saying, is not that bad. That bus is gonna have a hard time getting around. He's definitely gonna have a hard time getting around. Cause he's gonna have to either go all the way down to South, uh, South Huntington and come up the other side, or do some craziness throughout the city. Cause they got that main intersection which takes you up to the other side is blocked off. Uh, obviously they don't put a lot of planning in that and, and that's, that's, uh, that falls under the city of Boston and you know, the park, what do you call it? Boston Public Works. Cause those, those are the guys who schedule all this work over here to be done. And they should know the routes better than anyone else since they ride these streets quite frequently or they should be riding these streets quite frequently. So, so I guess the game plan is to mill all the way down to where those uh, cones are right there. They're not going to do that today for sure. They might get, they might not even finish all that. But the goal is to um, at least have this road open up for tomorrow. Or by, by tonight for tomorrow, I should say. Go back and see some milling up here. This is like fine. Now all this is recyclable too. So all this stuff right here, which is like, it's a little bit dirt mixed with asphalt. But they could take this back to the yard and, um, you know, sort it out and heat it up and refine it all over again. They said asphalt is 100% recyclable over and over and over again. Got a, a little bit of everything going on today.
to watch that wire.
Alright guys, good to see some milling in the city of Boston. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a long process, but they're doing pretty good. I mean, it's, it's not easy, that's for sure.
least you guys get to see them milling down the uh, asphalt. Probably in a couple of weeks they're um, putting new asphalt down. I'm not sure if they take the same asphalt and melt it and refine it and send it back over. That's probably what they do. That's probably why it takes so long to get it ready to come back over. But um, they're probably in a couple of weeks they come back out and um, do all this over here. Oh, so, so now they do have um, they do have Center Street open, so cars could come through. At least now they can. Anyway, before earlier, I don't, I don't think you were able to come through here. So we're at, we're at Center in um, Boston Street right now. They probably got to repair some of these um, sh shut off gates. Alright guys, uh, you get to see the, uh, probably a good time to change this one out, this one looks like it got a crack on it, it has a deficiency, now would be the best time to change it out while you know it's damaged, unless you're going to weld it back together again. It is a very, it is a, it is a very tedious process, you know. Monday through Saturday, so. Saturday being the, uh, the 13th. Hey you guys, you get to see some uh, milling, you know. I'm going to forget that terminology again, so. Well, no, I, I, it's not, I'm not going to forget it. I'm just going to not remember it. But that's the same thing as forgetting. We put asphalt here so for people with the um, wheelchairs are uh, accessible to get off and on the um, sidewalk. That's like tons and tons of uh, asphalt. I'm not even sure what a job like this will cost, to be honest with you. I'll have to price it out one day and see what it will, what it will cost a mill or an area this this large. Talk about several blocks, so a lot of traffic. You know, it's just almost almost rush hour. Well, I guess you would call this rush hour. Close enough. All right, guys. Uh, I just want to show you a little uh, activity in the city. If anything else comes up, I get back to you. Right now, these guys are still going to be working to about 4 o'clock. Now it's about, looks like a little bit before 3.30. 3.27 to be exact. But, um, this, this went all the way down. Raised castings, so just be careful going down. You might hit something by accident. Alright guys, catch you on the next one.